What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can use a VPN. So this is a tutorial that's just going to teach you all about using VPNs, what VPNs can be useful for and how to do that. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Of course, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing discounts as well as full individual reviews in the description down below. I'll talk about Express Nord and Surfshark a little later on, but let's just first learn how to use a VPN and what these features are for. So let's just turn off Express VPN. And as you can tell, the interface is super straightforward, no matter which VPN you're using. I prefer to stick to ExpressVPN just because it's just super simple to use. It's very quick, very simplistic. That's what I typically like. You know, I like simplistic design and instant connections and whatnot. But what you want to keep in mind is the protocol. Now you can keep it on automatic, but Lightweight UDP will offer the fastest protocol. The fastest protocol in NordVPN is going to be NordLynx and the fastest protocol in Surfshark is going to be WireGuard. So you get there by just going to VPN settings and making sure that you've selected the WireGuard protocol. So once you've made sure that you've done that, you know, you can either select the fastest one or the automatic one, whatever it is that you're comfortable with. I would just recommend going with the fastest one. You have the network lock and the split tunneling feature. So otherwise known as the kill switch and the kill switch, when you turn it on and then turn on the VPN, will make sure that your online activities are not going to be leaked if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. So it's just going to make sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN tunnel. That's what it does. Split tunneling is going to let you choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So it's a very useful feature. And all of these VPNs, all three VPNs have these features. So now that you know what these features are about, all you have to do to, let's say, access a streaming service, access a foreign market, secure your device on public Wi-Fi, secure your your device while you're torrenting or you just want to make yourself completely anonymous whatever benefit you're looking to get from a vpn these will basically cater to more than 97 or 98 percent of the vpn user base and once you're ready once you've got your credentials and you know your login credentials and you've downloaded and installed the vpn again you can use the links below by the way to save money on any of these vpns once you've done that you can just select a location let's say you want to access i don't know hulu or disney plus go to the united states you can choose a specific let's just say dallas and that is basically it you're going to wait a couple of seconds and with express vpn and you're going to be connected and that's basically it now let's talk a little bit about these vpns to help you make a more informed decision in case you're not sure which one to go for and so i've been regularly testing the best and most popular vpns and i've narrowed it down to express nord and surfshark as the best three vpns overall of course they all vary in budgets and features yet they all have a kill switch they're excellent for torrenting and they all consist consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN. And this is going to be the best one if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN. And it has the most verified no locks policy, which was demonstrated through a real-life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any users user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest levels of reliability, ExpressVPN is my go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider to be the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as threat protection, which blocks ads, malware-ridden websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then NordVPN would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is my best pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of 
of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And to help you figure out which plan you should go for, generally, you want to go for the long-term plans with VPNs. And I'll explain why. So for example, ExpressVPN gives you three plans to choose from. There's a month at a time plan for $12.95 per month, a six month plan for $10 per month, or a 12 month plan for $8.32 per month. However, if you use the link in the description down below, you can get three months free. And so the 12 month plan drops down to $6.67 per month. Now, out of curiosity, I spoke with Express and they mentioned that a lot of people end up spending more on monthly renewals than they would have with the yearly plan because the typical pattern is that people renew monthly thinking they may not really need this long term. So unfortunately, they end up spending more money than they would have if they had gone with the year plan, especially with the discount code I linked below. So ultimately, if you know you're not going to need Express for longer than a month, definitely get the month plan. But if there's a chance you might end up using it longer than a month, you may want to go with the year plan. And then if you change your mind or realize you won't need it that long, you have 30 days to get a refund and go back to just a month at a time. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity. And it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Now, NordVPN is is a well-rounded high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends friends and family as you would like, which is a great plus. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. Comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.